While I've been in Lithuania for a while now, I continue to procrastinate on intentionally learning the language. While I've picked up a lot of random words and learned a few verbs here and there, I think next year will be the year that I sign myself up for lessons. But some of you watch these videos to prepare yourself for living in Lithuania. So if that's you, and you're coming this winter, here are 10 phrases you'll want to familiarize yourself with. Number 1. I'm cold. Man shalta. The coldest of Lithuanian days can get down to minus 15 or 20 Celsius. So for days like this, you'll probably be saying to yourself and others, man shalta. Number 2. I really need a place to live. Man labai rike vietos kur gyventi. At least on the foreigners' Facebook groups, there seem to be quite a few posts these days from people who are desperate to find a place to live. An influx of refugees and migrants this year might have had an impact on the available housing supply, which seems to have resulted in a rise in rental rates, impacting foreign students perhaps a little more than others. The word labe means very or really, while giventi is the infinitive of the verb to live. Number three, it's snowing. Sninga. So really, it's just one word. If you want to tell someone that it was snowing, you would say Snigo. You can expect snow to fall in Lithuania as early as November, but through November and December, you're likely to see mixed snow and rain, or light snow that doesn't last very long. Number four, even if winter for some people is considered December 1st, you're going to have rainy days well into this winter month. So if you want to say it's raining, it's the single word Lija. If you want to tell someone that it was raining, you would just say Lijo. Number five, why is everything so expensive? Kodel viskas taip brangu. This is something you might be asking yourself and others a lot this year. And I'm sorry if my April video on Vilna's cost of living gave you the wrong impression because, well, things have changed a lot since that video came out. COVID-related supply problems might be one factor, but as the war in Ukraine drags on, energy prices, as a result, continue to be insane. And so you might just be asking yourself and others, Kodel viskas taip brangu. Number six, I fell on the ice. Nukrito at lado. If you watch my older video on winter survival tips, you hopefully won't need to say this to anyone. But slippery surfaces can be a major hazard in Lithuania, and so if you don't have the proper footwear, you might find yourself flat on the ice. How and why does this happen? Well, it's usually the result of snowy days or nights followed by warm days that melt the snow a little bit. These wet surfaces then turn smooth and icy once the temperature dips below freezing again. City crews do their best to keep up, but I wouldn't count on them to treat every sidewalk on time. So be careful. Number seven, I can't feel my fingers. Again, a cold temperature related phrase. To prevent yourself from losing feeling in your fingers, be sure to get some gloves at the local market for a few euros. And if it's more than a few euros, you might just throw in Kodel viskas tape brangu while you're buying those gloves or mittens. Number eight is the phrase glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. This admittedly isn't actually Lithuanian and is instead Ukrainian, and it's Ukraine's national salute, meaning glory to Ukraine. In Lithuanian, it would actually be Slove Ukraine. But Lithuania is one of Ukraine's biggest supporters, and so if you're going to be spending any amount of time in the country, it's something you might just see posted on shop windows or chanted at various events. Number 9. My heating bill is 1,000 euros. Mano šildamo saskite tukstantis euro. Again, this has to do with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Lithuania's commitment to rid itself of buying Russian energy has resulted in higher gas prices and higher heating bills. Hopefully, your heating bill won't actually be 1,000 euros, but definitely keep an eye on current rates and do what you can to conserve energy. And finally, number 10. Would you like tea? Arnore arbatos? If someone you're with looks cold or you're having a friend over, you can try offering tea in Lithuanian. Arnore arbatos? Lithuania has a few great tea companies and some interesting herbal teas, something worth checking out, especially on those colder days. So I doubt you'll find this video all that useful, but I hope you did find it entertaining, and perhaps slightly educational. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.